common ways in which defenders have shared information in the past has been through IOCs, and uh, attackers know the ways to be a step ahead for uh, IOC sharing. Uh, they know how to uh, change their, their techniques and change the characteristics of the type of information defenders are sharing. The way that defenders can get ahead of that is to be, start sharing more behavioral aspects of how attackers are, are behaving and attacking their networks. Our research team will break down the, the malware, we'll create various deviations of the behavior of that malware, we'll put it in Iron Dome, and we have something called uh, dome correlations where we use machine learning and we're able to then tell you like with confidence that you don't have Alma or you don't have APT33 operating in your, in your enterprise. That's pretty important when you get to the board level or CEO level. Couple that with that concept of behavior analytics and the capability to share that potentially malicious or suspicious activity through the sharing of threat intelligence based on those network behaviors in near real time. That is a very powerful mission moving forward the concept was then born of collective defense. It's something that we have um, compared to within the government side as well as within the private sector, that you don't have time to call a timeout and then put your defense on the field and then call another timeout and you put your offense on the field. Similar to soccer, you have to play both sides at all times. And with that same methodology to be able to defend and proactively um, tell your customers and tell the world about these potential threats is going to give us that leverage that we need. That was a very powerful and inspiration mission in, in my opinion and uh, something that makes me excited about coming to work.